Mac Dumb Live recap. Oh, yeah. Justin's not in it. He's too tired. Mm, yeah. So it's okay. okay. He was in Raw. And Missy's in the Mackdown. Yeah. As you know, Missy wasn't in Raw. No. But it's okay. So, here we go. But I'm still right. here, though. Yeah, of course she is. <laughs> She's always here. But, um, it started off with Kevin Owens. Um, he starts off Smackdown with the Kevin Owens show. Porter body. <laughs> and, obviously, it's kind of weird looking at him now because he's face. But, he's just talking. First, he talks in French for the universe. I have no idea what he's saying because I don't speak it. So I only know one word, bonjour. <laughs> really messy. <laughs> what? That's French. Bonjour. And then he um, introduces Kofi Kingston out, and oh, then yeah. they're just pretty much. He's just pretty much saying he congrats Kofi on winning the title, and that he notices there's a third member of the team missing. And yeah, Biggie's out of injury yeah. from the last match. Yuck. So no biggie. Yeah, it can't stand biggie. I'm sorry. And then Kevin Owens asks to join them and be the big O. Well, first he goes big K and then the big O. <laughs> and then Kofi and Xavier Woods is like, I sure can't you sure you were gonna be able to handle it. You gotta do what the new day is. You gotta get you swivel your hips and he's over there swiveling his <laughs> hips. It looked funny. Oh boy. Um and then they're just swimming the hips, and then you see Rusev and Nakamura looking on, because they have a match with them, and then Cesaro pops in and says, Hey, there's three there. There's three of us. Well, how about that? <laughs> well, that's going to be a main event match. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're giving them horn and everything. That's weird. Pretty much whatever Big E did, that's what freaking Owens has to do. Yeah, really but... First match of the night, which is a shake-up match, yeah. Finn Balor versus Mustafa Ali. Oh, man. Two good wrestlers. Two good wrestlers I like. It's I like, like both of them. I like how Mustafa Ali with the thing. Oh, man. But, um... And then Finn Balor because of his new win and how much of, he is a good wrestler, but... Yeah, but Finn Balor ends up winning. He won with a coup de gras. And then, since the match was so good, he's asking to shake Mustafa Ali's hand, and Mustafa accepted, so. Yeah. So, good sportsmanship. They both were good in the ring. And then there was a backstage... <laughs> oh, my God. Backstage segment with Owens, Xavier Woods, and Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods were had these pancakes and went up to Owens and said, um, well... You, you have to see if you can beat Big E's record, eat all these pancakes in like five minutes. And then Owens is like, well, I never ate a pancake in my life. And I, I they're, they're raw. They're, they're cold. They're, they're, I don't feel like he's eating, trying to eat them. And then I went to um, <sighs> Carmella coming out with our truth And yep. ends up being, of course, Carmella versus Charlotte. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> but Charlotte ended up making Carmella tap with the figure eight. Charlotte, yeah. Carmella tried. She tried, but wasn't too good for Charlotte. And then um, after the match, Lars Sullivan comes out, and then he truth truths out there. He tried to fight back. He tried, but yeah, he got a accident by Sullivan and then he's looking at Carmella and Carmella slowly gets out of the ring <laughs> even the ref was like yeah come on it's okay it's okay we're and gonna just take you over here you'll be safe <laughs> even the ref's eyes were like boing and then he goes back to truth and destroying him with a slam whatever and then um and I went back to the segment and it's like Co what um owns is on his last, last pancake like he ate them all. I don't, yeah, yeah, there's no way. He probably threw Come some on. in the garbage. Yeah, magically, yeah, poof. And they're like, yeah, you did it. Twenty seconds. <laughs> but yeah, and then um, Becky Lynch is talking now. She just pretty much talked about Becky two belts and how she won. And why not? Then Amber Moon comes out of the Superstar Shake-Up. She's on SmackDown now. She's pretty much coming out saying how she wants the SmackDown Woman title. Obviously. And then Bailey comes out. 
another Super Shake shakeup. I'm on Rollo's Smackdown now. And Bailey's pretty much saying how she wants the titles since she's now a single competitor on SmackDown. And since she had the tag team titles with Sasha, so now she wants to try for the single title. And then out comes the Iconics. Skankers. And they're just pretty much saying, oh, there's two belts. Two belts. No belts. Fame, Rune, and Bailey. We took the belts from you, Bailey. Iconic. Yeah, losers. <laughs> and. And then um, Paige comes out, and she's pretty much saying about, um, hope the audience would love when you had to defend those titles. And she's about to announce the tag team, but gets interrupted by Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. And Mandy Rose is like, um, oh, thanks, Paige, but we don't need an introduction. Like, yeah. And then, um, Paige is like, I wasn't talking about you and Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose. I was actually talking about this tag team. And she announced Asuka. Yeah. And then... Kari Shane. Oh my god. Like I said, yes. I said this. I wanted Asuka and Kari Shane a tag team. They must have heard me. They must have listened to me. I'm happy. Asuka and Kari Shane a tag team. It's going to be an awesome match. It's and then Paige is like, go get them. And they were brawling in the ring. And Becky's like sitting in the corner at first. And then she sneaks on out. She's like, yeah, go on, girls. You got this. Yeah, that was so crazy. And then it ended up being an eight-woman tag match. The Iconics, Manny Rose, and DeVille versus Bailey, Amber Moon, Asuka, and Carly Shane. Bailey, Amber Moon, Asuka, and Shane end up winning. It was crazy at first, yeah. but Car uh, Shane had the win for them by doing a top elbow move by Macho Man, and they celebrated the ring. Yay! Which was awesome. And then these are so far who I've seen on SmackDown so far: Bailey, Amber Moon, Kari, Lars Sullivan, Finn Balor, Buddy Murphy. And I can't say the other two because that would be spoiling what I wrote on the other thing. So, there you go. Um, and then the match, the last match, was the Kevin Owens, Big O. Twitter party. <laughs> Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston versus Zaro, Nakamura, and Rusev. Yep. Ended up being a crazy match. Um, obviously, Owens, Woods, and Kingston won, celebrating, shaking their butts. And look, Owens just looks very funny. I can't see him face. I'm just so used to seeing him heal. So it's so weird. But Kofi ends up doing a trouble in paradise to Rusev. And then uh, Owens did a stunner for the win. So that's how they won. How's that? And then with like, I think it was like 10 minutes, 8, 10 minutes left of SmackDown. It did that uh, Vince McMahon thing. Uh, excruciation thing and he's just pretty much talking and then he brings and he goes I bring out this man and then Elias comes out and he's Definitely pretty much Elias. talking about walking with Elias how he got interrupted by John Cena then Undertaker and then Rey Mysterio and then blah 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 and he's pretty much saying since now I'm in Smackdown you're gonna have me you're not gonna miss AJ Styles and then he's like, silence your cell phones. Yep. He started to play. <laughs> and then he got interrupted by... Yeah. Roman Reigns. Yeah, my man. So, that's another shake-up. Elias and Roman Reigns for brawls on SmackDown. And then Roman Reigns is walking in. He, uh, Superman punches. Um... Um, what's it? Elias. I almost forgot his name for a minute. <laughs> Elias. Well, just remember Death with Elias. And then he's looking at Vince. And Vince is just staring at him. And then he Superman punches to Vince. That was awesome. And Roman's like, I don't care what he said. SmackDown is my yard. So. Yeah. And then 
he le he's le he's celebrating, going like this, and then he leaves the ring, and also and Elias is checking on Vince, and then fucking Reigns comes back in the ring, spear to Elias. Boom. Bye bye, Elias. And That's then, Elias. And then he's celebrating the ring, cat and leaving fucking Vince and Elias, and it's like, ugh. <laughs> Even though Vince really probably likes it, because, you know, Vince likes Roman Reigns. Of course he does. <laughs> but. How he gets his kicks off of him. I thought this was a really co interesting SmackDown, to be honest with you, for yeah. part two of Shake Up. Yeah. I, I did. I really did. had a did. lot of good moments. I really did. I, Especially with the Roman appearing. Yeah, Roman. Now she has to watch SmackDown just to see Roman. Oh yeah, no I'm more still, Raw. No, I'll still watch Raw. <laughs> Seth Rollins is on Raw still. Yeah, burn it down, yeah. Rollins. Uh, and, and Braun Strowman. That's funny. In. Yeah, I, I, it's funny how you notice on uh, YouTube watching that Dean made his ex an um, appearance last night on Raw, but he didn't appear. So, but. Yeah, that was uh that SmackDown. Let us know. Are you excited for who's on SmackDown yeah. now? Um, oh yeah, Liv Morgan's on SmackDown now. I've seen it. Liv Morgan, so she's pretty much not Ruby Riot or so now. Yeah, she's, she's by herself. So do you like What's, this new shakeup? Yeah. Did you like? Do you like the new resolution on each brand now? Let us know. But how did you like this week's SmackDown? Yeah. Yeah, so um make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hello! Bye. And now it's 205 two oh five live. live. Now it's nice live. Yeah. But yeah. um <laughs> this is really gonna be a little dessert because this is not that much that happened no. on two oh five live. Really not really met backstage matches. Backstage uh -huh. things, but started off. Lucha has probably first her out, and they're like, Grand yeah. Man leak Lucha, yeah, yeah, Lucha. Lucha. Right, it's a Grand Man Talik's gonna tear the house tonight, cause yeah. it's Lucha, yeah. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. So it ends up being a fatal four way. Grand Man Talik is first, then, oh, yeah. uh, then it's Aria Davari, mm -hmm. and then Mike and Alice with oh, Maria and Alice versus Akira Tawaza. Sweet. And oh my god, Maharia Canales tried to sneak and cheat again. Of course. Um, but end up this does end up being the last part of the match. Tawaza she, he went to the top corner and of course got distracted again by Maria and then Mike ended up going on the corner with him. But Tawaza kicks him, makes Canales to the ground, and he does his uh top rope move. And um, Canales counters with the knees, and then Canales ends up uh, doing his finisher move on Kira Tawaza, and then he was going to pin, and then Grim and Talik went on top rope to kick out the pin. Yep. My Canales kicks out Grim and Talik out of the ring, and out comes Dabari. He's getting uh, Mike Canales out of the ring, and he steals the win. So, of course. All right, Dabari won, which was wow. Yeah. He didn't prove well, I mean he did mad he did fights in the ring, but still he stole away and he stole from That'd be really really better. Ban Mike Canales is BA. Just ban her. Get her out of there. Why doesn't she, she why doesn't she just practice and go against the woman belts? Yeah, why not? Um it popped up also next week's gonna be Humberto Colerio. I don't know how to say his last name. Tail Lothner look like. <laughs> Versus Jukulak. Oh god. Well, obviously voting for Humbert, though. Oh, yeah. Screw you. I wonder if Jack Alher is going to be on Humberto's side. He, oh, man. He's, he's definitely going to be out there. But he, I don't remember, know. He, remember, he hit Drew Gulak. Yeah. So he might be on Humberto's side. You don't know. I mean, he might stay, actually, before their match starts, he might try to stand in the middle of the mat, ring or something. You never know. That's, yeah. Got to find that out. Mm -hmm. And then, and well, before the main event match, I did like a little segment with Oni and Cedric. They're just pretty much talking that uh, Oni's pretty much saying he's gonna win, and Cedric saying how he got debuted to Raw and show that he's the best. Yeah, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So pretty much, and it ended up being Oni Lorcan versus Cedric Alexander. 
Mr. Bug Eyes. Yeah, he bugged his eyes again because he thought he won. Yeah. But, of course, only Lord can actually beat Cedric Alexander. Yeah, it's probably because Cedric Alexander got... He's on Raw now, so... That's probably why, so... Way only one, he, 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 let's see, he suplexed him on an ape, off the apron, and then he had him back in the ring, and then he did this massive clothesline to Cedric Alexander, and then he did, like, these two, like, suplexes, or half suplexes, and then he pinned them for the win, so. Oh. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was actually interesting, but short, but it was, it was okay. Yeah. Okay at twelve five live. So hey, well, let's hope next week will be better. Yeah, with Humberto versus Gulak. Oh yeah. And you know Maria's probably gonna do something. Because she could be like, Oh yeah, Devari stole Mike's match. Stole his win. Boo-hoo. Yep. She's gonna say something, you know it. Mm, of course she is. So um now what did you thought to it, Five Live? Yeah. Did you like the matches? Why uh, not? You said that Cedric is finally, you know, leaving. Are you, him ha- are you happy that it? he's leaving to a Five Live and going to Raw? Are you sad that he's leaving to a Five Live? Let us know. Um, yeah. yeah. So, make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.